Hey guys, Mitch here with the Audio Dabbler YouTube channel, and today I'm going to take a look at pitch, echo pitch, echo pitch. And basically what echo pitch is, is it has four delay buses, pretty much. It'll take the signal in, and then it will feed it through each of these four delays, all at the same time. And you can adjust the time that each one has. And so you could almost, you could do a little sequence. Like right here I have just like a major seven step, major seven chord step up. So if I play a C. Let me turn the feed back down. Um, and see it just stepped up. And so it was, it pitch, it's pitching as it delays, it'll pitch it up or down depending on the value. Now, the way the pitch kind of works is it sets it steps up in semitones, but the way it's labeled is more on the lines of, if you're looking at the C major scale, you would go up to a flat two, which would be one semitone, to a two, to a flat three, to a third, to a fourth, fourth a sharp fourth to a fifth sharp five six flat seven seven and then the octave and so you can <clears throat> so that's how the pitch works and it's going to basically from what i can tell it sends everything through at the same time it don't kind of teeter it like it sends it through this one and this one and this one and this one. so that's where you got a little matrix right here and you can enable this, and this is kind of like a delay feedback matrix kind of thing. I haven't read the manual on this, if there is one. Um, I'm just flying off the seat of my pants. But, like, I can send the delay 4 back into delay 1. And so... And then at the same time, you could do, you could send the delay four into itself, and it would create this feedback loop. You can hear it. And each time it sends it sends itself back to itself, it's pitching it up eight, or it's pitching it up an octave. Um, and so that's kind of you can do some weird sequence, crazy stuff with that, but. And it'll keep building up and building up and building up as it goes. <clears throat> and so that's that's kind of fun. And you can, you know, put everything, route things wherever you want to. Um, I haven't really dove too much into that, but I know that um, it works pretty well. Um, and so basic, so you got your basic time, pitch, feedback, and level. If you know anything about a delay, you have a delay time which is how quickly it'll play after you play the note. And so I kind of have it at um, a sixteenth, an eighth, a dotted eighth, and a half note, ha or an eighth, a quarter, a dotted quarter, and a half note here to kind of do the sequence. That way it's not playing them all at the same time because if I put them all at an eighth note here, It'll 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 pretty much almost like play a chord. You know, then you can adjust the feedback, and you can have them the feedback different for each of the lanes, which can kind of give you some interesting stuff. And then if you wanted to further. You can pan, if you wanted to pan each one of them. And then especially if you started setting them at different time divisions. You can get some really, really interesting stuff. 
some things is, gets a little crazy. Um, <clears throat> continue on, you got some drive, you can... some drive to it I already went over the pan you can it's got some high and high cut and low cut filters to kind of shape the sound if you're getting some um, maybe some artifacts in those higher registries you can kind of filter cut those out to kind of tone the sound down a little bit but <clears throat> overall that's pretty much the uh, the app you do have a master delay so it'll basically sum everything up that you send, and it'll send it um, through its own delay. And you can do just wet only. Um, <clears throat> but the way I have the way I have it set up in AUM is I have the kind of the the way I like to to route things. Um, I have a dry signal and then I send it to a wet signal and then I sum everything up into the channels. And so that way I can adjust the the signals how I see fit. Um, but I mean even with that, I mean that's some pretty interesting results. Now what you can do that I've found it does have its on amp and it has a uh, it has its own reverb. I'm not a fan of its reverb. It sounds very tinny and thin. <clears throat> but that's easy to remedy. Just turn it off and then put on your own. So it's a pretty it's a pretty nice little app. Uh, so let me go back. What was that that I had before? Synth pad. I had long sweeper. Okay, so back to AUM. <clears throat> it's probably not gonna sound the way I had it earlier, but so that's the the sound that I have and I am uh, one. a basic kind of sweeping thing okay and so I have <clears throat> the dry and wet signals of push and space mapped on my axiom and so I'm going to turn up the send and that's sending it to this channel here and then and so just in itself that's what echo pitch is doing to the sound if I turn it up so it's definitely shaping the sound a lot but then um, you can further shape it I thought it was paired I thought it paired really well with uh, AUFX dub send in a little bit more AFX space reverb you have your own you have your own little pad that you just created from a f space or from delays and uh, reverbs just completely changes the sound I don't know I just like how how it just works with it it's just really well so back to just standard echo pitch
with it pitching the sounds up and down you gotta watch yourself because you can definitely the way it pitches it'll it'll hit some interesting notes uh, that kind of clash so I wouldn't necessarily if you have it pitching different ones I wouldn't play a whole bunch of different notes on the keyboard because you can get some off off notes but <clears throat> so that's kind of a let's kind of look at the um, echo pitch it's a fun little definitely a fun app to have um, as a standalone I do I will say that it um, right now it kind of it requires you to open it first before you put it into enter app audio I will email the developer and see if I can't if he can fix it to where you don't have to do that because it's that gets <clears throat> kind of annoying whenever you have to do that but you know as just using it to set, shape sounds and things like that it's uh, I think it's really really awesome and I don't know of any other apps I haven't seen any other apps out there that has you know four four different lanes of um, <clears throat> delays to where you can you know pitch each one up and adjust the feedback of each one and the levels of each one and then plus it has this crazy matrix thing so you could almost like create some shimmer getting a little crazy there but yeah I think with with some time you could easily create some really just deep crazy sounds with just one note and just have this feedback in itself and do all crazy stuff definitely definitely weirdness but I would I mean, I'd recommend it. It's it's like two ninety nine. I think I'll leave a link in the description to the um, app. And uh, I think I've talked enough about this app. Uh, just uh, like, comment, and subscribe as always. Uh, if you're into Patreon, I do have a Patreon. I will leave a link in the description, and I will talk to you guys later.